Welcome to the Birmingham Public Library's database tutorials. To access any of the library's databases, you will need to go to the library's website at www.bplonline.org. The topic of today's tutorial is the ASVAB, which is an acronym for the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. The ASVAB is a series of tests that are acquired of anyone intending to join the military services. Four of the tests, word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, and mathematical knowledge make up what is called the core of the ASVAB. How well you do on the core determines whether or not you are qualified to enlist in the U.S. Armed Services. The scores that you attain on the other tests will determine your eligibility for certain military occupational specialties. Learning Express Library is a database available on the Birmingham Public Library's website that offers practice exams that will help you improve your score on the ASVAB. Once you are there, click on the link labeled Databases, which is located in the top right-hand corner of the screen. This will take you to a page that provides you with access to all of the databases to which the library subscribes. To get to the Learning Express Library, click on the drop-down menu labeled Database Quick Links. Here you will find all of the databases listed in alphabetical order. Find and select Learning Express Library and then click on the button labeled Go. If you're accessing the library's website from outside a Birmingham Public Library, you will at this point be asked to enter your name and your library card number, which is located below the barcode on the back of your library card. Your library card must be updated in order for you to access any of the databases outside of a Birmingham Public Library. When you have entered your information, you will reach the Learning Express Library homepage. On the left-hand side of the databases website, you will find a list of all of the Learning Express Library's learning centers. The learning centers are the broad categories in which Learning Express provides practice tests, exercises, and skill building courses. Today we are interested specifically in the resources available to help you prepare to take the ASVAB. So click on the Learning Center link labeled Jobs and Careers. From the list that appears click on Military and then click on ASVAB Practice Tests. A list of practice tests will appear and by clicking on the title of each you can learn more about the test including the number of questions and the time limit you have to take the test. For today's tutorial we will just concentrate on the ASVAB test labeled ASVAB Preparation Core 1. To begin taking this test, click on the link labeled Login to Add, located to the right of the test title. You will then be taken to a login page. If you are re a returning user, you can enter your username and password. If you are a first-time user, you can register by clicking on the Register button. As a first-time user of Learning Express Library, you will need to register as a new user. To do so, you will need to input a username and password of your choice and then verify your password. Both your username and password must be a minimum of six characters and should not include spaces. 
Once you're signed in, you will be on a page where you can click on the link labeled Start This Test Now, which is located on the right-hand side of the page. This will bring up the instructions page for the test. Once you have read the instructions, click on the Start button at the bottom. You are now on the questions page, and you'll notice the timer located in the upper right-hand corner of the page will begin counting down from the preset time limit. You can either answer each question by putting a bullet in the appropriate box, or you have the option of skipping a question by putting a bullet in the box labeled, Skip This Question For Now. If you do not want to finish taking the test, you can, at any point, click on the button labeled Finish Later at the top of the page. By clicking on the Finish Later button, you will be putting the test in your My Center page. You can view and continue taking these tests at any time. Remember, My Center is private and can be viewed only by logging in with your username and password. To continue taking a test from your My Center page, click on the button labeled Continue by the test title. The page that comes up will have a list of all the questions that you left unanswered and a list of the questions you skipped. If you want to go back to one of these particular questions, you can click on the appropriate number. You can also click on the Start button at the bottom of the page to go to the beginning of the test. When you have finished taking the test, click on the button at the top labeled Score My Test. A box will then appear in the middle of the screen informing you that you cannot change any of your answers once you begin scoring your tests. If you think that you want to change any of your answers, you can click on the Cancel button to return to the test. Otherwise, you can click on the OK button to begin scoring your test. By clicking on the button labeled Conversion Table, your score will be converted to a percentile and you will be able to judge your performance based on Armed Forces entrance requirements. To view your answers that you provided for each question, click on the button labeled View Answers at the bottom of the page. This will take you back to the beginning of the test and for each question, the correct answer will be highlighted in gray. Correct answers that you provided will have a black check mark by them. Incorrect answers will have a red X by them. For assistance in navigating Learning Express Library, first click on the My Center button at the top of the page. Then click on the Help link at the top right hand corner of the page. To end your Learning Express Library session, click on the Logout link, also located at the top of the page. If you have questions about Learning Express Library or any of the other databases, please do not hesitate to call the Birmingham Public Library at 226-3600. Thank you.